Hello everybody, this is Andre, and today I will give you a very quick express and um, fast tour guide for the phonetic chart. Well, uh, please just be aware that you have a specific description of all the chart uh, features just in the front part of, uh, of your books. And if you need more support, please just join to our coaching videos and you will have the explanation of all these features. Well, just follow the spellbeinternational.com website and look for the phonetic chart. You will need to use the flash player to be able to reproduce these chart sounds, okay? Now let's start. Great. Structure phonetic chart for English language based on IPA. As I explained, IPA is for all the languages and we are using this as a scientific approach. We have 44 sounds of English language here. It is divided in two vowels and in two consonants, okay, vowel and consonants. You will have many, many, many features on this chart. I will just give a Russian and I will show you where are them. You have vowels and consonants. Let's just start from the upper part. Okay, we have vowels. Vowels are divided in two, in monotones and diphthongs. One sound and a glide of two sounds, great. You will have here other kind of features that are the physical features of the vowels. You can see in the lower part of the chart that we have three features, the roundedness, the vagueness, and the openness. Openness are a vertical feature, vagueness are a horizontal feature, and roundedness is related to the lips. So, we are using different colors and symbols for you to really get attracted <laughs> with the chart and be happy to identify the specific features. So we have also here some labels for you to understand them. You, you have in backness the front, central, and back part of the vowels. Front, central, and back of backness. That means these are the vowels that are pronounced in the front part, central part, and the back part. And then open it, you have this symbol with an upper arrow, a central, and lower arrow. Okay? Now, what else do we have? Here we have also like a column symbol. That means if you have a column, means that that vowel it is a long vowel. So let's say we have here, here, and here, here, the long vowels, okay? And the other ones are the short vowels. If you click on the symbols, you will be able to hear the sound. And if you click on the words next to it, also you will be able to hear the pronunciation of those words. Within these words, you have other kind of features. You have a specific spelling. And the most frequent spellings of these sounds. We are providing you three most frequent spellings of that specific sound. On the other hand, we are providing you three different uh, words with the uh, different parts of the speech, like a noun, a verb, or an adjective. Oh, what is this? It looks like uh, stars, stars, stars. Yeah, stars, more stars. Great. That means this E, last E is related to the famous E magic rule, okay? What else do we have here? We have like a forbidden mark here. Yeah, forbidden mark. Whatever I'm telling you, you can read it on the lower part of the chart. Um, so this forbidden symbol represents that that sound cannot be pronounced in that position. If it's on the right, it means at last position. If it's on the left, like here, it means at the beginning of the position. For example, this U sound is not, being, it's not possible to be pronounced at the beginning or at the last of any word. So you will find here on the words on the right to it that are only on the middle, great. The same is for the diphthongs. We have front, central, and back. And we have another symbol here. 
yeah this symbol what, what is that symbol yeah look like a chain right great that means that any of these uh, vowels that are having this symbol like a chain it means that they are influenced by the letter r in their spelling if the letter r is there this vowel would be pronounced or this or this we have around let's look for them around seven different uh, vowels that are influenced by the letter r great what else would we have here let's check the the consonants okay the consonants great with the consonants we have three main physical features voicing manner and place you can see the description in the lower part voicing manner and place voicing and manner are designed with symbols and places are with clothes okay so you have the circle one that says that it's an unvoiced sound so there is no vibration of vocal folds and the zigzag symbol that represents that there is vibration on the vocal folds on that row on those rows uh, of this song and now for manner we have five different kind of manners and you can find them on the corner on the corner of each and every sound this is the way you need to pronounce the sounds like for example the s this symbol means it's a fricative sound like s. okay great you can click it on it and the last feature of consonants is the place the place specifically is the specific region inside your mouth in which you pronounce that sound. So you have one color of the rainbow to represent the specific part of your mouth. So those which are on the left are those sounds that you pronounce with the front part of your mouth. And those colors on the right are those that represent that you're pronouncing the sounds in the back part of your mouth. I give you just one example. You have the P sound that is done with your lips and the K sound that is done in with the biliary region inside your mouth. K, 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 P, P. Okay, got it? Nice. What else do we have here? We have like a numerical symbol. That means that some of the some of the English accents, they really do pronounce the R, but in British accent, we do not pronounce like in better. We do not pronounce the R, okay? Uh, and then we have this asterisk that means that sometimes we are providing you extra spellings for you to learn more patterns, okay? More graphics. Great. Um, there is, if there is any other feature, that you can learn from here is about the spelling. For example, you can see also the double spelling of the consonants. You have double P or even the double spelling of certain sounds like CH. The normal spelling is CH and the double spelling is TCH. Oh, that's interesting, right? Great. This is a quick crash of the spelled international phonetic chart. Any of these features, you can learn it from our videos. Please do follow us in the social media and be happy learning. You have also a simplified phonetic chart below. And please do read properly all the descriptions below and also in your books. And you try to, to follow whatever it is there in the chart. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with me. And I'll see you on the next opportunity. Thank you. Bye-bye.